With Thrive Ultimatum, you can create scarcity campaigns for your products. A scarcity campaign is a limited time offer that helps you increase your conversion rates. Now with Thrive Ultimatum, you can create such campaigns that are displayed to your website visitors or if you want, only to certain users based on their actions. In this video, we'll go through the steps of creating and setting up your first Thrive Ultimatum campaign. First, access the Thrive Ultimatum dashboard and click here to add a new campaign. You'll next have to decide on a campaign template. You have the build from scratch one, but you also get some other templates that come with predefined settings, such as running a seven days offer, a Christmas special, or an end of the month type of campaign. I'm gonna go ahead and select the build from scratch template and proceed with giving it a name. Now this name will not be shown to anyone else but you, so it's for internal use only. Now we are here on the main dashboard. This is where we can start setting up the campaign based on what products we are trying to sell. So let's start with the campaign type. So the fixed dates campaign has a predefined start and end time. You can run the campaign between certain fixed dates for an offer available a limited amount of time set by you. Then you have the recurring campaign that will run multiple times in a repetitive cycle. And this can be used for monthly sales, for example, it can be an offer that starts on the first date of each month, for example. And lastly, there's the evergreen campaign, and this is for those instances in which you want to target who triggers the campaign and under which circumstances. So this campaign type is not triggered by a date set by you, but rather is triggered by users' actions. And each person who submits a form or maybe visits a certain page will have their own individual countdown. For example, it can be a campaign that will be shown to each new user that subscribes to your newsletter. As this is the quick start guide meant to show you how to create your first campaign, I will be working with this one from here as it's the simplest, but keep in mind that we have separate resources in our knowledge base that explain in detail how you can use each campaign type and I strongly encourage you to check those out as well if you want to learn more about them. So here with this option selected, let's proceed with setting a start date. Let's say I want it to start today at maybe 6 p.m. and it's gonna run until the end of this working week on the 23rd of September at the same hour. Now let's save our work and next we'll have to go over to the display settings and this is where you can select the pages or posts on which the campaign will run. I'm gonna go and select a sales page from here and then I get to pick a design for my countdown timer. Now you might have noticed this type of banners and widgets on other websites that are showing a limited time promotion. This is the case here as well, simply go ahead and pick the one that works best for you. Picking the design is not all, you'll also have to access the editor and customize it based on your offer. Now the design is fully customizable, it does come with the template library that you've just seen and this library helps you get started but you can still make whatever changes you want here. This ribbon is made out of other elements that are available in the Thrive Editor. So you have here the countdown timer and you can use various options to customize it. Then you have this text and it's ideal if you change the text and customize it to match your offer. And then you also get this call to action button that you might link to a download page if you're offering a free digital product or to your checkout page if you have an e-course, for example, that you want to sell for a limited amount of time. In this case, I will be linking here my checkout page. So let me quickly look it up. All right, now let's save our work once more and go back to the Try Ultimatum dashboard to configure the remaining settings. Now here, if you activate the lockdown campaign, you can configure the pages that will be shown to those visitors who try to access the offer before the three, four or seven days window that you've just set up for your campaign. So the pre-access page is the page that the visitors will see if they try to access the promotion before the campaign starts. And of course, the expired page is for anyone trying to access the promotion after the campaign ended. Now you can have separate pages here. You can just look them up right here in this field, but you can also have the same page for both instances. This is the design that I've created and you can see here that I have some text informing the visitors that by signing up through this lead generation form, they can find out when the next promotion will be as the current one is not available anymore. 
So back here on this dashboard, let's select the pre-access and expired pages. As I said, I will be using the same one for both situations. And then here in the promotion pages section, you can select the email service that you are using for your mailing list. And lastly, you can select the page that you want to lock down, in this case, the sales page. Then after you set this up, there's another feature that I want to talk to you about, and that is the conversion events one. So what you can do with events is to stop a campaign after a person purchases whatever you are promoting, but you can also redirect that someone to another campaign that you have on your website. So this might come in handy if you have placed various countdown timers throughout your website. You might want to stop showing the same promotion to someone who has already purchased the product you were promoting. So in this case, what you can do is select the visit to conversion page option from here because people will see that page right after they purchase the product. In this case, this is my confirmation page. And then you can set what should happen right after. So here we will go for this option and campaign. So as soon as the user has landed on the conversion page, the campaign will end based on the settings that we've configured here. Now, anytime someone buys your product, they will no longer see the countdown timers on those pages or posts on which you've decided to display those countdown timers. Now, with all this setup, you can just activate your campaign. So don't forget to do this to make sure your campaign has started. And this is how the campaign will look like to anyone visiting my promotion page in between the amount of time that I've set up in my campaign settings. This concludes our quick start guide for setting up your first Thrive Ultimatum campaign. I hope you found it useful.